Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. We're in late October, and have you ever just had one of those days when it's rainy and gloomy outside, and you just wish things would slow down? Well, that's the kind of day that I'm having today, and I'm gonna slow everything down, and we're gonna do an EDC autumn pocket dump. show you my spec ops the wallet now I've been using this wallet for quite some time and it's held up quite nicely uh, you know this has been in my pocket for over two years now and it's doing quite well so that's the the wallet they also make a smaller version called the wallet junior and the wallet mini that you can check out now in my right front pocket, you know, I've always got a key to my room loosely in my wallet and why I don't lose it. I don't know, but I don't. And for the past year, I've carried this Leatherman style CS. Okay. Now this is not a bad little multi-tool. It has scissors, but what I don't like about it is it's, you know, it's Leatherman. So you would think it would be holding up, but as you can see right in here, if I bring this up, we've started to rust. And the rust is really affecting the action of the scissors. You have to, you can see rust there on the blade tip again. But, you know, I, where I used to be able to just work it like this, I no longer can do that because of all the rust, you know. And it's not stopping there. The knife blade has started to rust a little bit. And when you look at the file, the file has also started to rust, you know. So I'm not too impressed with all the rust but I do like the little carabiner style clip. It holds a key to my shop, so I don't have to decide oh, which one of these two keys are which. Now in my, that's everything for my right front, front pocket. My left front pocket, I have a key to my big door on my shop that I keep, yes, loosely in my pocket, I know. But I still have the Gerber dime and the Gerber dime is showing absolutely no signs of rust. I'm really impressed with this. It does have the pliers, which are very useful. You know, um, the scissors in this still work freely. You know, absolutely no rust on this whatsoever. And the other tools like the box cutter are showing no signs of rust, still working really nicely. The knife blade again, no rust. And the screwdrivers have no rust. As you can see, this thing is kind of beat up. It gets used a lot. I use this probably more than I do the Gerber style or the Leatherman style. And that's everything for my left front pocket. Of course, this was in my right rear pocket. I keep nothing in my left rear pocket. Now, today you can see I have the um, Charge HR by Fitbit. This is what I'm wearing today. And now I do swap that out. I change that out. Every day I switch between my Apple Watch 3 and the Fitbit Ionic. The reason I swap out all three of these is just a, the simple thing of I'm testing out this band to see how long it lasts and if it will fall apart like all the other charge bands have done. The Apple Watch, 
I'm wanting to compare it to the Ionic. And of course, I'm wanting to see if the Ionic's band is going to wear out and just disintegrate like all the other Fitbit bands do. Now, the last thing that I have on my person is my Glock 23. Yes, it is loaded. Yes, there is one in the chamber. Hence the reason my finger is not on the trigger. And I also have the White Hat Holster, this single clip holster by White Hat Holster that I'm currently using with the Glock 23. Now there's gonna be some changes made in my carry holster and my carry gun, and I'll bring those to you in another video. And so that's everything that I have on my person right now. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video of my fall EDC. You know, as the seasons progress, our EDC changes and it's an ever evolving thing. This is where I'm at right now. Some things change, some things don't, some things I like, some things I don't. Now, I hope you're gonna stay tuned to the channel because since I've done the studio rebuild or build, a lot of people have asked about the different things they've seen, kind of like the backdrops. We just did a video about those. Now, we're also gonna be doing a video on the lighting, not the lighting that's up here, but the lighting that you see on this backdrop back here. So I'll be doing a video on that and how I use that lighting and in what instances I use it. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all.